I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. Saw the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be talking about Pop Smoke. Alright, so look, man. Now, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to him, right? He was murdered in uh in Los Angeles at the uh, Hollywood Hills mansion he was uh currently living in. I think he was out there on business or something. Maybe like three or four days. But while on his trip in LA, Pop Smoke posted a photograph on Instagram. And it was a gift bag from Amiri. Y'all know the clothes Amiri. He showed the packaging to the internet, not, not realizing that he put his address on the internet. And that night, a group of people wearing ski masks just burst into his uh, bedroom. They confronted him in the shower. And that's when one of the suspects, who was actually 15 years old, pistol whipped him and shot him in the back three times. And here's the kicker, right? The only thing they really made it off with was his Rolex. And they sold it for $2,000. So out of this entire murder, slash robbery, the only thing they got was $2,000. And of course they had to split that. $2,000, man. Like seriously, I think you could probably make that at Walmart and warm up. It's sad how little people value other people's lives, right? Because to them, all pot smoke life was worth was $2,000. But even sadder, that's the value they have on their own lives as well. $2,000. Crashing out for that. Embarrassed. But luckily for this guy, after pleading guilty, he was only sentenced to four years. Which sounds crazy. I know, murdered and robbed Pop Smoke in cold blood. Probably one of the top five hottest rappers that was out at the time, right? And all you get is a, you know, a little four year, something like, that's insane to me. But you do have to realize uh, the circumstances here. For one, he was 15 years old. Like it or not, he's a minor. He's not being charged as an adult. And that does sound kind of hypocritical because when you look at a story like Tay K, I think he was like 15 years old himself and he didn't even shoot anybody and he got like 60 years or something but the difference is one took place in los angeles one took place in texas different laws my guy i'm not trying to get political here because I, i'm not even a political person but that's a huge factor as well one is a democratic state the other is a republican so that's why both of these are on the opposite ends of the spectrum like that it's either if you're a minor, you're getting off easy, or you're getting fried. It depends on the state, more so the political uh, stance. And to be honest, male, female, dog, chicken, duck, teenager, it doesn't really matter to me, right? If you murder somebody and it wasn't self-defense, there's no reason you should be coming home in four years. I don't care how young you are. That's a dangerous narrative to put out there, man. Letting these kids know, hey, I could go murder somebody. I could go rob somebody. It really doesn't matter. I won't be tried as an adult, and I'll be home in a few years. And anybody with any street smarts, right, they know that this is a cycle that goes on daily. Hey, check this out, right? Little bruh, you go do this, right? Because if I get caught, I'm going away for a decade or two. If you get caught, you'll be home in no time. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not what happened here. Some older people sent these younger guys because all of them was like mad young. One was 15, 16. I think the only one that was legal age was uh, 19 years old, which is crazy because Pop Smoke himself was only 20, 20 years old and all three of his murder suspects younger than him. And that's why you see so many of the young guys crashing out nowadays because this is what the older people are telling them. And not only that, hey, you got the traditional system doing the same thing, though. Know? If you're in Los Angeles, California, and under 18 years old, hey, you basically in the movie The Purge. You could go murder somebody, you could go rob somebody. You only getting four years. That's ridiculous, man. But at the same time, I do understand they are still kids at the end of the day, technically. Their brains aren't fully developed. They're more vulnerable and easy to manipulate. So with that being said, I do understand why the system is more lenient towards them, but four years, bro, for murdering one of the biggest rappers at the time, that's insane, man. This guy's gonna get out at like the age 23, 24, 
and drop a pot smoke this on what and blow up. I don't even think four years is enough to learn half of the lesson of murdering somebody. This guy's probably going to come out and be the same person, huh? if not even worse. I guess I'll add this as well. They're not giving him time served. So if he do the whole four, it's more like he was in there for six years. But still though, bro, it's, it's not enough for a murder. I'm sorry. I have enough grace for minors where I'm not trying to give them life like they're trying to give TK, of course. But four years? Nah, man. Bare minimum, I'll say 15. If you're old enough to take a life, you're old enough to, to do 15 years. That way to at least give them a second thought. Because knowing you could just go do four years, that's insane, man. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZOBaby252. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. I'm gone. Hey, bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street.